Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Force, and all this week we will be checking out Albion Online. This is an upcoming multi platform MMO sandbox game, and there's actually a promotional deal going on right now that myself and a bunch of other internet personalities are taking a part in. It's like this YouTube versus Twitch thing, and my team is fighting off against Elheim's team. And uh, they asked me, hey, Force, you want to be a part of this? I said, yeah, sure, why not? I'll take a look at your game, and that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at a, a series, basically. We're going to do a playthrough, just jumping in and seeing what this game is all about. I literally know nothing other than that's a top-down percept perspective uh, sandbox MMO that's going to be available on what Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, and Android. So yes, this is like a combination of sort of PC, tablet. There's also a, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Uh, you can play it in your web browser. So there's like a web browser version of the game as well. Uh, so let's just start off, let's take a look at the interface, I guess. We can also zoom in. Uh, first thing that you notice, of course, very, very cartoony art style. You know, if you take a look at some of the the uh, arts that they've released for this, like the concept art, uh, this is very, it's all very thematic. They're obviously going with a very distinct set tone here for their game. It's going to be a click to move game so I can move my character Force Law all around. I've had a bunch of people ask me, Force, why are you always naming yourself Force Law? Are you talking about League of Legends or you're talking about Laugh Out Loud? La laugh Out Loud? Well, yes, I'm talking about LOL as an LOL laughing. Uh, but the reason I do it is because Force is always taken. It doesn't matter what game it is. Doesn't matter what game it is. And no, it's not people impersonating me. No, it's just because force is just a stupid word that ever, people, you know, it's, oh, I'm forceful, whatever, you know. Uh, it's always taken. So I have to do force low because force low isn't always taken. And if it is, I could do force keck or something. All right, so we got, uh, there's my face up here. I got a 1,000 health, 100 mana, I guess. Uh, what do we got? A few things. There's our inventory. This is our, oh, what's the, okay, I, guild shortcut. I got to join a guild. I think they're going to have a guild for me set up here. And then we also have uh, buildings. Uh, so yeah, this game is supposed to be sandboxy. Apparently we're supposed to build stuff like smelters and repair stations and a tool maker and a tanner and a stonesmith. We're not going to go through all of them because this is a hell of a list. Oh, I'd kind of like this. Uh, I don't know. This is kind of, this is going to be a pain in the ass to scroll through. Maybe they can make these just one liners that we can click on and then it expands or something. Although I guess, um, I guess this is probably the, the mo mobile version, uh, sort of peeking its head through, you know what I mean? Like this will be, you touch the screen and you scroll it down, you know, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what that's all about. I got some stuff over here. This is, I guess some founders program things. So I guess I could just take all this, right? I just do put it over here. Warning. Just like any other item in Albion, this item will drop from your character upon death. What? Are you sure you want to retrieve your items at this moment? No. <laughs> your items drop upon death? I don't want to I don't want to do any of this then. I got a horse. Can I get the horse permanently? No! I don't want this to happen. So I can't, my horse is going to die. If I die, I don't want the horse. What else is there? My, what else? What else is this? Thank you for participating. And this is some other stuff. What is this? I don't even know what this is. Oh, founder certificate, explorer's looking glass. All right, well, I'm going to keep all the stuff in my mailbox because I don't want it all to disappear when someone comes up and murders me. Because I have no idea what the heck I'm doing. All right, we got a map. So this is a map. I guess it's going to scroll like as we move along. There I am, that giant triangle there. It looks like that's a smithy or something that I need to go to. So we'll head in that direction. We can do, we can plus it. I guess maybe not. It's alpha, so maybe not everything's working. This is the world map. Okay, this is, ooh. Okay, I mean, again, look, very distinct art style. Very, very distinct. I wonder what those big X's mean. Don't go there. Too dangerous. Uh, there's supposed to be like player built cities and stuff. Looks like there's all sorts of trade routes. Oh, I'm, I'm very intrigued here. This is very intriguing. Oh boy. All right. Well, we're just going to go. Let's just walk forward. We'll just see what we see. I don't know. We, we're like five minutes of the video. We haven't done a damn thing. I'm just worried I'm going to get murdered. So I'm glad I didn't take anything out of my, uh, my mailbox. Speaking of my mailbox, where is it? Is it anywhere that I can retrieve it? Because I don't... Uh. I'm hitting all sorts of hotkeys, but the mailbox isn't coming up. I'm gonna keep hitting. 
I'm hitting all sorts of hotkeys, but oh, it's probably up here, right? There it is, beautiful. Okay, so I still got my stuff. It's been in there for two hours, we're all set. I'm really worried, I'm seeing a whole bunch of red names around here, and I'm really worried that this is gonna be like, they're here to murder me, you know what I mean? All right, is there a quest log that we have? Is there a quest loggy? Do I have like objectives right now? I mean, this is telling me to build. What if I just talk to this guy? Okay, so I can get a beginner's sword and beginner's shield. You don't have enough resources. Okay, so this is a craftsmithy. So I need to gather these resources. Well, can I get the, can I get? You don't have enough resources. Why, well, I need the ax to, son of a bitch. How am I supposed to, all right. Can I, let's see if I can find something out in the environment here. Okay, I might be able to just mine this stuff straight away. Oh yeah, we're good. Okay, so this is the sandbox stuff here. We're getting the stones and whatnot. I got the stones, what about this? Okay, I need a beginner's knife and that resource is to, what about the, I need the trees. I need to chop down a tree too. What is this? Oh, we're harvesting some more stone, okay. All right, wow, so this game really is like, like sandbox, like, right out the gate, the first thing I'm doing is uh, gathering resources. Yay, beginning wood gatherer. I'm feeling good. I don't know exactly how I got that wood from that thing. I guess if I'm just taking off the, the branches, it doesn't seem so. Okay, okay, come on. Come on, are you freaking kidding me? You expect me to believe that with my hands I did that? I don't believe that for one second. Not for a second. Can I do the ones that are right above the smithy? Oh, that's pretty neat. So like all these trees, we can just gather them down. <laughs> I, w I would say chop them down, but I'm not chopping anything. All right, can I make anything yet? I don't even know. We got 10 wood and eight, uh, and eight stone. So what do I need for the... Wait, what? Okay, I can make this now, and I can do dash, reduce armor, defensive stance. What if we do dash? Can we... Uh, increases your auto attack damage by 10%. Each auto attack increases your physical... Let's go with the increased damage. Oh, okay, so I just picked three things to put on it. Did I make it? Yeah, I did. I have it. There's the sword. It's in my hand. Let's zoom in. I can show you guys. There's the sword in my hand. So I'm probably going to slice things better. All right, I need a shield too. Let's go back over here. Beginner's shield. I need, I need two more wood. Well, let's chop down this tree. Equip weapon to gather resources. Oh, unequip weapon to gather resources. That's weird. Let's put that over there. There's, there's got to be hotkeys for that. I'm going to have to look up hotkeys. I'll, I'll have to do that after this first episode because I'm not going to sit here looking up hotkeys. When you guys are like, what the hell is going on? Shield slam or... All right, we're going to go full like aggressive mode in your face. We got shield slam. We got a... I think this sword had a charge. Okay, what are those abilities? Okay, it's bound to Q. W. So Q is my dash. W is my reduces target's armor, and C is the damage stun. That's C, right? Or is that, that's probably E. That'd make more sense if that was E, right? All right, well, let me see if I can Q. All right. All right, these guys don't live very long, though. I need a skinner's knife to skin him, and I need to, I need to unequip these weapons. What if I do, none of the ones are doing it. All right, I, 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 I'll, I have to look up that stuff. I'm gonna have to try to figure that stuff out. All right, what else can we craft over here, though? Craft some armor. I need leather. Uh, I'm guessing I get that from the little dudes. So let's craft a skinning knife. I need one more stone and three wood. Okay, so we just can get some of these here. Wow, I'm really just just crafting away here. This is really. I literally I, I went into this because I wanted to be. I wanted this to be a true sort of playthrough experience. I want this to be like, this is my first time. I have no idea what the F is going on. Let's try to figure it out together. And while I know, I do realize that can be sort of, that can be kind of frustrating for, for I, I realize that can be frustrating. I get a fame bonus, fantastic. I realize that can be frustrating for a viewer, but I think it's also, it's, it's also a bit more fair and honest as to the beginner experience. What is like, what's like for me? What it'd be like for you? What are we doing here? What is this? I can, okay, I guess that's just, it is what it is. So we're gonna craft this skinning knife. Can I just fight this guy, mind you? 
I'm gonna put all my stuff here. I'd like to see if I can... I'd like to see if I can fight this guy. I'm gonna try to attack him, okay? <laughs> Invalid target. Come on, let me... He's His name is Red. Let me get... What about this guy over here? Is this guy a valid target? Damn it. I was really... Okay, whatever. Whatever. Switch that up. We got the skinning knife. Let's get some leather so we can make ourselves some armor. So we gotta slay the rabbits again. Yeah, beginner's hunter. Alright, I killed a bunch of these over here. How many slays? Oh, we got a few. We got a few leather from... from... Alright, let's get this one. Get over here. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> you're dead. You're dead. Uh, he's dead. Alright, I don't remember how many I needed, but there was a few pieces that I'm, I think I wanted to do, so... Look at all this proficiency I'm gaining. It seems like a bit much, like we just started. I'm already getting all sorts of achievements. There's a lot of achievements happening right at the very beginning of this. I feel achieved. I almost want to play with it more zoomed in. I kind of like that. Very, very cool little art style that they're going with here though. I gotta say, I kind of dig that. All right, so some armor I can do. So we can do my helm, we can go with, um, Restores energy, restore hit points. Well, hit points, increase movement speed, increase your attack speed. Movement speed is just always so good. I can't, movement speed is always so good. So we have to do that. What are the res, okay, so it's just telling me, I see. And then the stats, now are these, okay, I can't alter this, it doesn't seem, so we're gonna craft that. Craft ourselves a nice little helm here. Uh, we got we got an ability on the helm too. That's kind of nuts. Yeah, look at that. The hell is that? O? Q W? Maybe? The hell? I don't know what that's supposed to be. All right, next piece of armor. We got the helm. No, oh, we we already have enough to craft this thing too. We could go with regrowth regrowth to restore. Ignite all enemies within the caster. Man, we're gonna go full offensive in your face. We got, we will do the movement speed again though because it is just so, movement speed is just a thing, you know? It's a thing you go with. Um, and then the next piece, we need one more. Okay, we need one more to get that last piece. Well, let's put on, oh, it's already on, all right. Oh man, that's cool. All right, <laughs> let's see, I got this guy up. Okay, going back over here now. Hello. Frank, what's his name? Does he have a name? Workbench, all right, workbench, let's do this. Let's craft me some boots. Uh, movement speed, increasing movement speed, 50% for seven seconds, hello. Increasing movement speed by 80% and CC resilience. Okay, wait a second. 50% movement speed for seven seconds. 80%, increasing movement speed by 80% and CC resistance. You can't cast spells and all your damage is reduced by 50%. Okay, let's just go with a run so we can still cast spells. And we're gonna go again with the movement speed. Movement speed across the board. This is gonna help me do everything faster. So we'll accept it, we will take it. All right, excellent. So I guess I'm pretty much done at this workbench here. I made the shield, I made the armor. I haven't made all the tools. I guess I could make all the tools, what do I need? I need a bunch more wood and stone to finish up. I suppose I should just, while I'm here, I mean, while we're doing this, right, we might as well finish off the workbench stuff to the full, pr I, you know what I'm really confused by though? What the hell is this? Destiny board? Oh, this might be like, Holy crap, what is this? This might be my skill tree. Journeyman's gatherer, journeyman's fighter. I'm guessing this is a skill tree. I'm guessing that's what this is. You can choose to be a gatherer or fighter or crafts dude. Okay, so I'm assuming that that's, that's just straight up crazy skill tree. I'm gonna stay zoomed in for now, especially while we're gathering and stuff. Can't quite click on this, hello alpha. Every time anything's just not working, I'm just be like, oh, okay, it's the alpha, right. I see, okay, I see, right, alpha, right, you're busted, got it, got it, I got it. It's still a w -N w -I -P. what is that for? That's a work in progress, are you an idiot? Seriously, don't. <laughs> I'm having this hypothetical conversation with myself to a make-believe person 
And then I'm insulting them for not knowing something that I gave them the re response of not knowing. It is highly... Stupid. Did I just... Yes! Yes! I'm glad it works on critters. I know it's a small thing to care, care about, but I'm really glad that it works on critters. As it should be, man. It's an AOE... Wait a second. Do I, can I just spam this thing? What the frick? It's like no cooldown. Okay, there's a cooldown. It's just pretty short. And it hardly used up any mana. That is awesome. Alright, what about my F? Okay, so we got that sprint there with the F. I think I need more rocks. I think that's the one that I'm missing. And this has got a pretty short cooldown as well. I'm, I am I dig short cooldowns. I'm, gl I'm glad I don't have to wait seven minutes to use my sprint again and my wither is very fast. And what was this one? Oh, this is the instant restore. Oh, that's D. There we go. All right. Uh, so I was looking up before I... I, I know I, I didn't do any research in terms of like looking up how to play this game or anything, but I just got some of the baseline like information. Uh, and one thing I do remember now that we're looking at like the, well, everything that's going on here is that this game has a no class system. So you'll notice I'm, you know, I'm wearing leather armor, I've got a sword and a shield, I've got all these different abilities that are tied to my weapons and whatnot. Um, but yeah, this game has a no... Oh shoot. Can we just double click? No, I can't. I have to drag this? Okay. Again, I think that's gonna be, that's like a carryover from the, the mobile version. I suppose. Maybe that'll get reworked for the PC so that you can do the basic things like double click or... Uh, you can right click to equip, but a double click would be really good. That might be a, something in the options too. I'll, I'll, I, now that you know, I've I've jumped in for the first time. We're gonna I'm gonna go through and try to set up all my options, my keybinds, and all of that stuff for the next episode when once that comes along. So okay, so there is uh, we've got the axe now, and we can do the hammer. None of these can be changed, so we're just gonna craft them out right. And hopefully we have enough for the last bit. If, if we don't, we're, we're probably pretty darn close. Yeah, there we go. Now we can do the pickaxe. Okay, so we have everything. It looks like everyone's name is just red. At first I was like, oh, these are enemies, right? But no, it looks like just everyone's name is red. Just, that's what it is. Okay, so we have officially made everything here. We have made everything here. So let's just go. I'm going to just walk around a little bit. I want to see if there's anything... Uh, on the fringe of this island. If I were to guess, I'm going to assume. Okay, so we've got our dash. Nice. And we can do our F and stuff. I, I, I'm digging that they give us these abilities right away. You know, so many games, especially like RPG type games, we'll just wait forever to give you anything cool. But right away, I've got a dash, I've got an armor pierce, I've got a sprint, I've got AoE, fire, whatever, wither. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything going on over here, unless I walked by some chest. I don't even know if this game has chest. I have no idea. I'm really still like, where? Why is there no quest log? Is this what's happening? Okay. So these are beginner weapons. Okay, I see. Oh, I see. So, so these are are these quests? What is this? Is this my quest log achievement? Oh, it says achievement progress. So I guess it's something like a quest log. But if this is a sandbox game, maybe there's just little, little uh, directive on purpose. Not a huge fan. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Not a huge fan that I can't chop this down with weapons in my hand. Hopefully, there is a way to quick bind, uh, unequip, and reequip these. There may very well be. All right, we're leaving that area. But yeah, I mean, if this is a sandbox game, uh, there no direction is probably quite on purpose. Ooh, there's a chest over here. A shorty man. Oh, that's a person. <laughs> I was like, what's a shorty man? This is the smith. I already made everything I can make there. What's this guy? Is he another? Okay, this is another smith, but he's got some higher tier stuff. What's this chest? Is this storage? Yes. It's a bank, okay. All right, all right. Well, we're in town. Um, I guess we can take a quick walk around town, see what's up. I mean, these are just people. Oh, here's a make spell, novice tome of spells. I need some of this thing, whatever this is. I don't even know what that is. It doesn't tell me what it is. Okay, it doesn't. It doesn't tell. Oh, someone owns this crafting station. Wait, what? Let me show you here. Uh, this right here. Usage fee. 
The owner of this crafting station has put a usage fee on using this crafting station. Any crafting that you do will be increased. Uh, the silver cost will be increased. I gotcha. Uh, yeah, so there's supposed to be player-made cities. I wonder if this is a player-made city. That'd be a bit surprising to me, it being immediately out of the tutorial area. But there's a bunch of stuff we can make. You can make furniture because there's player housing and, th and things. Looks like we can make some bows if we do the wood stuff. Um, over here is a stable person. Okay, so we can get, we can make a horse. <laughs> it's just buy a horse, I assume, but it's just kind of funny. And wow, there's all sorts of different, all sorts of different kinds. Maybe, yeah, maybe I should just. So what do I have here? One second. Um... Okay, so this is, that's an ox. This is just a regular old horse. Okay, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, this is really risky, I'm really nervous. So I just put him in here. And does he become a keybind? Yes, he does. So here's my horse. Oh, sweet. All right, what are the other things that I have? I think besides the horse, I have like a an ox or whatever. Uh, maybe he does work. Uh, this is some stuff. Certificate, oh yeah. Certificate, Explorer's Looking Grass, Founder Statue. Um, Explorer's Ox, Explorer's Horse. And these are Explorer's Clothes. But I just made clothes, and I'm fine with those clothes. I suppose we could put on the cloak. Whatever, I don't, I'm just gonna die though. That's why, I'm, I'm not gonna do all of them, but does a cloak give me any magical powers? No. CC resist though. Okay, so no 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 new spells or anything from the cloak. What's this guy over here? Looks like he just sells stuff. Oh no, it's still to make stuff. That's a journeyman's tool maker, accessories, furniture, etc. Um what's this over here? I don't know what that is. That guy's just standing there. What about over here? That's the storage chest. What is this, dude? So we got a, just a bunch of crafting stations. Market offering. Okay, so this is like the auction house. You can buy stuff. Right. Got it. All right. Uh, well, I guess I will just move out and begin the process of crafting. Because uh, that's this is a sandbox game. This is so much more... I read that it was sandbox. But this is really... Wow. Like, it's all just straight out the gate, craft your, all your stuff here. Oh, I pray to God I don't die. I probably shouldn't walk around advertising that I have a horse. So is this like PvP area? I'm gonna test, I'm gonna test this out. I'm gonna stand here and see if I can attack anybody. No. <laughs> that would've been so funny. Maybe that just hit both of them. All right, so nothing, no PvP here, but there's a bunch of stuff to gather. Now let me mount back up then. Man, it is very scary. It is very scary knowing that this game has item loss. Uh, so is this like this is like a player's player's house that they're building? Look at this. All this stuff is in construction right now. People are building these things. And it looks like I could just con contribute to it if I wanted to, maybe? Maybe not, but it shows you the progress at, at the very least. Where do I want to go? Where am I? I'm right here. Okay. Oh, it says safe. So that, that zone is safe. All right. What about... Like, if I go this way? That's a big X. That probably means not safe. That big X, I would, if I were to guess, I would say that big X means not safe. Eh, let's just go there and see what happens. Why not? Why not? What, I mean, what else am I going to... I got a lot of gathering to do. I'll be gathering for quite some time. Man, people are setting up. Look at this. It's the same stuff just all over the place. So all these... I, I have to assume that these are all players' houses, real estate. You can only manage this real estate. Okay. 
So these are all like player housing plots for sale. So you could buy this for 357 gold. Wait, what is it? What level's that guy? Does this game even have levels? He's got more health than me, so I should be I should be worried. So that that lot's for sale. Okay, I'm starting to stuff starting to click with me. I'm starting to get some of this. Um, you can see on the map sort of like the plot area. What's that sound? What's that mean? Oh, he just went into run mode. I see. All right, well, why don't we go over here? I'm gonna go into this spot with a big X. I think that's where I'm headed. I'm guessing it just takes you from one spot to the next along those roads. Like you don't, you don't walk the roads yourself. So I'm just gonna walk over to that X area and see what happens. Um, you know, I'm not a, uh, <laughs> I'm not a fortune teller, but I'm guessing, oh man. It's not, oh man, that's not, it didn't mean, it didn't mean what I thought it meant at all. I thought the X's meant unsafe, but the X's meant is not in development. These are all safe, come on, is there any unsafe zones? What about PVP? Ah, uh, uh, I see, I see. Okay, 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 so uh, we've got the blue areas, that's safe, 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 safe. Uh, can't go there yet because alpha. Uh, these are limited PvP areas. What is that skull place? What is that place? I don't know. It looks maybe it's like a dungeon or maybe it's just a. Look at that. Look at that skull mountain or skull volcano. Skull some skull something. I gotta check what that. And then these uh, these are PvP zones. Now what is this? Is this city fighting that? Is is our this is our city? Fighting this city maybe. I mean, there's a red arrow going. That could mean what it is. I don't know. There's all sorts of craziness going on. I I need to gather. All I've gathered so far is I've got a lot of gathering to do. To I can't do that while well mounted. I guess I could. You son of a bitch. You serious? I'm gonna switch this. Equip that. Okay. Chop down this tree, please. What is the, it's still two slices. Well, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Does it just go faster? Is that what it is? What does it do? I'm guessing it just goes faster. Right? I think this is faster. All right, all right, let's check this, ready? One, two, three, all right, all right let's do, I gotta do Mississippi. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three. Okay, it's one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three. Let's try it with this. One Mississippi, okay, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a ton faster. Okay, so at the very least it goes faster. It's not showing me anything on mouse over though, so I really don't, I can't really figure it out. But it, at the very least, I can see that this is a ton a ton faster. Now the question is, do I want to be like, there's a lot of things for crafting. Do I want to be a, that's a pretty decent looking animation there. Uh, do I want to be a warrior with a sword and shield or a two handed weapon? Or do I want to be like an archer? I'm kind of digging, I, 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 I like the, the one hand and shield sort of, Thing I like that. I'm. This is. This is. I'm just chopping down these trees, man. I'm just chopping down these trees. It's a sandbox game. This is what we do. Wait. Click on this. Chop that super fast. Good job. Say give me the same type of. Yeah. It's all the logs. And then we can get. Ooh. What's this guy? A resource depleted. Okay. That's something. Someone did that. Iron ore. Did it switch it to the pickaxe? Yeah, it did. Oh, nice. Oh, that's really nice. It switches it to the relevant one. And what was that? Iron ore. Okay. All right, now I'm going to see I'm going to keep my inventory open. I want to see if it switches it again. No. 
why would it switch it one way but not the other? Let's put the thing back on. Wait, it unequipped it? What are you doing? Maybe it's just because I had my inventory open that unequipped it. Alpha! <laughs> oh no. I do not want to fight the fox with this on. Give me my sword and shield. There we go. This is fox fighting. I need uh, I need my spells to get back here. Hurry up. Do my spells. Okay. D. Nice. R. Let's uh, stun him. Nope. Too late. He's dead. And then he switched to the knife. Yeah, that could be a bit more elegant. That whole interaction, if not completely automated. I mean, again, if it's if it's something that I can like, I'm gonna fight him again. Uh, if it's something that I can just hotkey, then that'll be just fine. I, I, I will be a okay with it just being hotkeyable. Oh, I can't use my. Uh, okay, there we go. There we go. All right, do this. Um, I don't even know what I'm. I don't even know what I'm saving up for. Anyways, I don't. I have no idea. I'm. I'm glad to figure out that I'm safe in this area. As long as I'm going to the PVP zones, I should be fine. In fact, I guess I could just throw on all my stuff right now. Then, yeah. I mean, I can always put it in. Yes, I can always put it in my, or though, do these even have any spells? Those are fleet footed. This has heal and electric storm something. Oh no, pants on, damn. Kind of wanted some pants. I don't need that. I, I guess those other things are kind of whatever too. What are these spells? Regrowth and sprinting, what did I have? I had wither and Um, I, I'll put it on to see how it looks. You guys can see this here. Looks like there's a day-night cycle because it definitely just switched. Alright, so I got like a big chunky thing going on. What? Am I like under attack? Is there... What's going on? What is this? Oh, oh, once you dismount you get a, a debuff. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so these are the ones that I made. This is the founders things. I guess I'll just keep the founders things on for now, cause whatever. Knowing now that now that I know I'm, I'm safe until I walk into a PVP zone, I'm not too concerned. Yeah, so take a look here. This is a founders stuff here. Got a founders cloak and uh, it's got. I'll show you the spells and stuff that we've got with this. Oh, am I in a moron? How did I not see this before? Oh, it's been replaced. Oh, 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 oh. So there was a Q and W effect to equip my best available, you know, armor and whatnot. But then it was repl it's replaced by the, <clears throat> excuse me, whew. It's replaced by the new skills. Uh, it was replaced by the new skills when I, when I put this stuff on, which totally makes sense. Uh, so yeah, it looks like uh, it looks like we're just all about crafting right now, and that's pretty much all I'm gonna be doing, for, at least for the start here. Uh, so I'll be doing a, a bit more crafting in my off time, or gathering up some resources, and switching between this and that and the other thing. I'm gonna figure out there must be a more eloquent way to do this. I'm gonna figure out what that is. See, this is nice. It just sucks that it disappears. And then we can hit W to switch the tools. Look at that. Except then it disappeared for some reason. I don't know why it disappeared. Alpha is why? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just gonna be gathering for a while. This is a sandbox game. If there was any question, it's now been confirmed. Uh, I'm probably gonna be spending the first few hours chopping down trees, picking up stones and crafting stuff to make a house thing? Maybe that's what we'll do next episode. I don't know. We'll find out. 
Stay tuned. We're going to have some more. Uh, it's going to be a playthrough series here for Albion Online. If you are at all interested in what you saw today or anything that you see in the future of this series, uh, there is a link in the video description that will take you right to the website. Uh, I guess there are founders, program founders packages that are available right now if you wanted to play into the alpha. Uh, either way, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be coming out with some more Albion Online throughout the course of this upcoming week. So hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And as always, keep watching and keep owning. Let's gather some uh, some of this. There you go. Good job, George McCree. No, that's not. I, what? That's not his name at all. I. This is this debuff thing. Yuck. I, I just want some iron ore. That's all I'm trying to do with my day. Get it. There you go. Although I guess it equipped it automatically, didn't it? That's nice. Let's get some of this. Thank you for the stones. Thank you for the stones.